India is a land of varied physical features. It has the Himalayas, beaches in Kerala, the Thar Desert in Rajasthan, and the Deccan Plateau. Even the color of the soil varies from one region to another. For example, in Maharashtra, you find both black soil and red soil. But in Madhya Pradesh, you will find only red soil. This variation in soils is due to the kind of rocks from which they are made. The relief and physical features of India have evolved through different geological periods. During the process of formation of India, as it looks today, the Indian land mass was subjected to erosion, weathering and deposition. The physical features of India that you see today are the result of all these processes. No one knows exactly how India was formed. However, scientists have several theories that try to explain the process. One such theory is the theory of plate tectonics. According to this theory, the Earth's crust is formed from seven major and some minor plates. When the plates move, they cause disturbances in the continental crust. This leads to folding. Faulting and volcanic activity. In fact, most volcanoes are located at the edges of the plates. These plates are classified into Convergent boundary, divergent boundary, and transform boundary. Convergent boundary is formed when two plates converge or move towards each other. Divergent boundary is formed when two plates move away from each other. Transform boundary is formed when two plates move towards each other but finally end up sliding past each other. So, how is this theory applicable to India? Peninsular India is a part of an ancient supercontinent Gondwana land. Gondwana land originally consisted of a number of land masses, including South America, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica, as well as the Indian subcontinent all joined together. What then happened to split Gondwana land? Convectional currents split up the crust of Gondwana land into smaller parts, of which the Indian plate was one.
the Indian plate drifted north till it collided with the Eurasian plate. The collision caused the sedimentary rocks in the Tethi Sea to be lifted upwards. This is how the Himalayas were formed. This uplift also created a depression in the north. Over time, this depression formed a basin that got filled with the sediments of rivers flowing from the mountains. We now know this area, which is rich in fertile alluvial soil, as the northern plains of India. Different physical features of India were formed at different times. The oldest physical feature is the Peninsula Plateau. It is composed of igneous and metamorphic rocks and has hills and wide valleys. The Himalayas are a relatively younger physical feature. They consist of high peaks deep valleys and rivers that are fast flowing. Geologists believe that the Himalayas are still continuing to rise by one centimeter every year. The Himalayas are fold mountains that cover the northern border of India. They are geologically young as compared to other mountain ranges. The Himalayan range is the highest and the most rugged mountain range in the world. It extends from the river Indus in the west to the Brahmaputra in the east, forming an arc of about 2400 kilometers. The width of this range varies. For instance, in Kashmir, the range is 400 kilometers wide. While in Arunachal Pradesh, the width decreases to 150 kilometers. If you compare the eastern and the western halves of the range, then you will find considerably more difference in the altitudes of various mountains in the western half. The Himalayas are formed from three parallel ranges of mountains. The Himadri, the Himachal, and the Shualiks. Several valleys lie between these mountain ranges. The Himadri, also called the Great or Inner Himalayas, is the northernmost range of the Himalayas. This range is in a single, unbroken line and has the highest peaks. Considering that the average height of peaks in the Himadri is 6,000 meters. It is not surprising to note that the important peaks of the Himalayas are located in this range. For example, Mount Everest, the highest peak in the world, and Mount Godwin Austin, the second highest peak in the world, are all part of this range. Mount Everest is located in Nepal, while Mount Godwin Austin is in Ladakh in India. As mentioned earlier, the Himalayas are fold mountains. However, the great Himalayan folds are not completely symmetrical. This is why the peaks dip slightly away from the center. The core of the Himalayan range is composed of granite. The lofty heights of the mountains of the Great Himalayan range mean that the peaks are snow-clad all the year round. As a result, no vegetation grows on these mountains. However, 